all right so for this video we'll only be focusing mainly on your formulas and calculations what you guys need to note which is very important whenever you for dealing with calculations you need to start every single calculation or formula with an equal sign what you're doing is telling your computer to move from the dictionary mode to the calculator mode so the first question which we have here they say they want you guys to calculate with question marks up here I removed all of that right so the question marks will be appearing obviously in various places now they're saying calculate the total found in column b8 now they should have said either a column b or in cell b8 because b8 is where we find column b and row number eight this is right over here they say copy the formula across so they're saying whatever is done here should be done here and here and here right step number one you type the equal sign so what you guys need to also note and look at is in column g if you are asked to calculate the total uh, to calculate or add to calculate the sum or the sum of they want you to use the sum function or the sum formula it's equal sign sum open bracket what you're saying to the computer is that i want you to add the following and the following you start selecting click hold drag take it from 10 till 5 you don't include the cell where you want the answer to be when you are done you close your bracket so you'll see that the walls are moving before you close the bracket because your computer is saying the options are you want me to start adding from b4 to b7 is this what you want when you close the bracket it's saying okay this is definitely happening these are the cells that i'm about to add up when you are done press enter and the computer will give you your answer now i also want to show you guys something quickly when i stand on the 44 that i just typed in you'll see that when you look inside this option over here which is the formula bar you'll see it only shows you 44 but when you stand in cell b8 where we calculated the the, the amount or the for using your formula you'll see that it gives you a formula on how you got the 44 so normally when i mark what's important will be me looking at how you got the answer and not just the answer itself you were also told to copy the formula across so what you guys are going to do is click on the cell once and then go to the bottom right corner over here you'll see a green square when you stand on it your mouse pointer changes to a black cross click on it hold and drag it to the side you'll see that your computer is going to calculate so when i'm standing on 1600 and i look at the formula bar it says i added up uh, the cell ranges from c4 up until c7 which makes sense because this is column c when you get to this zero over here it says i added everything from d4 to d7 because this is column d it gave you the formula it added up everything in the cells in this case there is nothing hence your answer is zero now in this case you are asked to calculate min your keywords are over here when they say calculate the min they can either say calculate the lowest mark calculate the cheapest price calculate the worst mark or they'll say calculate the minimum your formula is going to be equal sign min step number one is stand where you want the answer to be step number two you type the equal sign you type the word min you open a bracket so you're saying i want you to give me the lowest amount in the the, the 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 ranges that i'm about to select so you only select from 10 up until 5 unless if you are otherwise instructed close your bracket your computer will tell you i'm about to calculate what the lowest amount or value is from b4 till b7 if you're happy with this press enter And your computer will show you that the lowest amount that we currently have over here is five which makes sense because there's nothing high there's nothing lower than five that's the minimum you are asked to copy the formula across yet again so you go click on five click at the square that you find at the bottom right corner drag it to the right hand side and you'll see that your computer will give you the lowest amount in each and every single column for example if i had one over here and i had three over here my computer firstly or initially adds the total 
and also gives me the minimum which is obviously one and the total obviously three and one will give you four so automatically your computer will always calculate because you've already given it a formula for each and every single column it's currently in when you are asked to calculate the maximum straightforward they'll either say give us the highest amount uh, the most expensive price give us the best mark these are all keywords or they'll say calculate the maximum you will only use the word max stand where you want the answer to be equal sign type the word max open your bracket select from ranges b4 up until you get to b7 close your bracket when you are done press enter and you'll see that the computer will tell you that the highest amount in column b is 21 when you look at it physically you'll see that, that that's exactly what the answer is remember we only used ranges b4 to b7 so it will look for the highest amount in that range the question says again copy the formula across you click once when you double click this is what's going to happen hence it's important for you to just click once so that your computer knows this is what you want to work on go to the bottom right corner copy the formula across you are asked to calculate the count what you guys need to know when it comes to count it literally only counts cells with numbers not text so let me just work on it I'm going to use everything starting from B3 up until what we have in B10. So when we physically count, count the cells, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So it will tell us that the cells that are active, according to what we see, the cells that are active, when we want to count them, it says 8. So the formula is equal sign count in 4 open bracket select from b3 up until b10 when you close the bracket the computer gives you seven mainly because the active cells these are the cells with numbers there's only seven of them for example if i went to right over here and i typed my name it will now tell me that the count of cells that are active is six i think you guys now understand what i'm talking about you do the same thing every time copy the formula across and it shows you that the values that we have here are three average what you guys need to know when it comes to average never include the totals never press the plus sign it needs more than one value that's very important and never type a v e with average you need to type in the full word average so we stand where we want the answer to be equal sign average open bracket you select only from 10 up until 5 we want to get what the average amount for all of these are just like when you are calculating the average uh, test mark if you got 70 for test 1 50 for test 2 80 for test 3 what you normally do is select all the three amounts that you have and divide by 3 and it will give you an average divide by 3 yeah divide by 3 will give you an average I think I said that right when you are done you close your bracket and you press enter and your computer will show you that your average is 11 you copy the formula across what you find here is div mainly because your computer is saying you asked me to calculate the average for nothing if I was to put in an amount here you see that your computer will now tell you that the average is 10 mainly because there's an amount but the moment you ask your computer to calculate columns or cells that have no values it will give you the div option now the next question says calculate the total accumulated um, in column d copy the formula down and it says calculate the average accumulated in column e copy the formula down this guys changes everything I can ask you to calculate the sum of let's say we had test 1 test 2 test 3 let me just make it this way we had 30 we had 50 and we have 60 let's say these are prices so we want to check how much you have spent and I'm asking you to calculate the total accumulated for example you would say equal sign sum open bracket and you would select everything from the left to the right excluding the cell where you want the answer to be close your bracket press enter it gives you a total because it added 60 50 and 30 and you're getting 140 but now this story is different because you have 
you'll be going to a place and sleeping 10 nights price per night is 350.50 which simply means you need to say 350 multiply by 10 nights i think this is very straightforward so what you guys are going to do now is multiply multiply is one of the easiest things to do or um, easiest calculations the shortcut is equal sign open bracket you click on 10 multiply this by 350 close your bracket when you are done you press enter your computer will tell you what the answer is and it will even show you how you got the answer but now i said to you guys i want you to copy the formula down so what you're going to do is click once on the answer click on the bottom right corner drag it down you don't drag it beyond like his name you only drag it till b7 because that's what we're calculating it will then automatically tell you the answers for everything now look when we stand on 1750 it gives us a formula of b7 multiplied by c7 that's exactly where we're standing it's column b in row number seven multiplied by column c in row number seven as well so that's why your formula is standing in that way um well for example let's say i had typed here 300 i think that's the number now when you look at it this amount has no formula related to it when you drag this number down your computer will literally just drag 3505 3, mainly because there is no formula so it's you just asking it to copy and mimic everything going down or clone it so it's important that you ensure that you always have some type of relationship to the cells for example let's say we decide this person is actually going to stay 15 nights everything linked to the 15 will change but nothing will change in this column because it was not linked to the 15 nights or those specific cells but if i have everything back to normal let me just quickly do that for you and i drag the formula down because everything is linked obviously you see what's happening here your computer automatically recalculates and now i'm changing the 10 nights remember i said b4 multiply by c4 i'll go to c4 i mean b4 and change the amount to 15 automatically everything linked to c4 will be changed this is the importance of ensuring that you link everything to cells not just numbers because things happen for example the tax percentage might change the discount percentage might change the number of nights stayed in a place might change or your mark results because you did a retest might change so it's important that you link it to the cell not the number now average remember what i said you need to use more than one cell in this case the example that we have here is very horrible because i can't calculate the average for nights and price but i'll do it using this option over here if you were asked to calculate the average you're going to say equal sign average in four open bracket select 30 50 and 60 which is test 1 test 2 and test 3 you want to know what your average test mark is when you press enter it will tell you that your average test mark is around 47 which means you're definitely failing now i think it makes sense you make sure that you select all three marks not the total it's important that you understand that you cannot select the total when you are calculating your average so just for example purposes i will use this option as well equal sign average open bracket select 15 and 350 and then you close your bracket press enter shows you my average is 182 and then you drag the formula down automatically everything linked will obviously be changing right over here i hope that this video was helpful to you guys remember any questions that you have leave them in the comment section and i will ensure that i um i answer all the questions or address them during our zoom meeting thank you guys